afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four on a very busy news day. Yeah, so let's get right to it. Hurricane Ian is hammering southwest Florida as it officially makes landfall this afternoon. We'll have live looks at what's happened already and what could still what's still to come. Back here in Wisconsin, a judge decides whether Darrell Brooks can represent himself at trial for the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack. And a trailblazing Madison veteran celebrates her milestone birthday today. We'll hear about her incredible life story in just a bit. But first, let's head to Florida. The worst storm, worst hurricane ever to hit the Gulf Coast of Florida. Yep, and as a category four hurricane, Ian has now made landfall. So let's get right to it. Let's take a zoomed in look at what we're seeing for Hurricane Ian as of right now. It is weakened in gusts that sustained as it landed. It was around 150 miles per hour winds close to it as we were earlier into this morning. But now that we're into the afternoon, we're looking at 140 miles per hour sustained winds with gusts still at 180 miles per hour. But you can see where the heavier bands of rainfall of this hurricane is. So the eye is where we're not seeing the rain just outside of the southern parts of Arcadia and north of Fort Myers. We're still just some light bands of rainfall starting to move towards the southern tip of Florida. But into the northern side of the shore, you can see where the heaviest bands of rain is. And that's again with that in the storm surge are some of the issues that we're going to be looking at that could be bringing in concerns with flooding for the southern and the southwestern side of Florida. Once again, and it's a slow moving storm for us. So we are going to be looking for the rest of this afternoon and for this evening to be a really, really concerning time for us, especially with those flood concerns. We'll talk more about that in a moment, but taking a look at our traffic, we are looking at smooth conditions onto the belt line and for the interstate as well. We are all green for our 4 p.m. hour. However, folks, we do have an alert day in the forecast. We're going to talk much more about our local weather coming up in just a few moments. Until then, let's talk the best to you guys. All right, Julian, thank you. More on the hurricane. And Ian, it hit the southwest coast of Florida with ferocious, ferocious winds this, this morning. This was the picture in Fort Myers when the water started filling city streets. Officials warn the entire state of Florida will feel the impact with torrential rain and a potentially catastrophic storm surge. Jason Allen is in Tampa, which could get a foot of rain by the time the slow moving storm is finally done. Hurricane Ian has arrived on U.S. shores. A powerful, lumbering storm that's expected to batter millions in Florida. Oh! Hurricane hunters flying directly into Ian felt the storm's power. And satellite imagery shows lightning in the eyewall as Ian approached. Officials are warning of dangerous flooding and life-threatening storm surge. Some place is going to get two feet of rain. It's moving that slow. Flooding began on these streets in Naples while Ian was still offshore. And downed power lines sparked this fire. Residents in the highest risk areas were warned. If they hadn't gotten out by this morning, it was too late. I urge Floridians who have made the decision to shelter in place, to stay indoors, and stay off the roads. But the curious came out to Tampa Bay earlier as water receded from the shoreline. It's been pushing water out of the bay. This is a swimming area usually, and right now you can walk on it. It's like the one in a lifetime thing. These Michigan residents have never experienced a hurricane. We see if we can get a, a good glimpse of anything while we're here. But there is serious business ahead as Ian bears down. FEMA has hundreds of boots on the ground and has pre-positioned food and water supplies. Florida's governor is already forecasting a long recovery. This is not just a 48-hour ordeal. This is going to be something that is going to be there for days and weeks and months. Ian is expected to move across central Florida and exit Daytona Beach sometime tomorrow. Jason Allen, CBS News, Tampa. The Red Cross has 2,500 responders ready to deploy once Ian passes to assist residents with food, shelter, and emergency supplies. Some Wisconsin residents are headed down to Florida on behalf of the Red Cross to help out. They'll be spending about two weeks helping communities impacted by Hurricane Ian. Volunteers will drive an emergency response vehicle down starting tomorrow to bring residents food, water, blankets, cots, and anything else they may need and we're also a resource for finding out what the communities need individuals do they have electricity do they have water utilities and then we report that back to the headquarters at the american red cross 
This is all about one community helping another community. One of the volunteers headed down to Florida says it enriches him to help those in need. In other news this Wednesday, the man charged in connection with last year's Waukesha parade tragedy can represent himself at trial. A judge ruled today, 40-year-old Darrell Brooks faces 77 charges, including six counts of first-degree intentional homicide and 61 counts of reckless endangerment. He initially pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity, but later withdrew the plea. Waukesha County Circuit Judge Jennifer Dora had initially delayed the ruling on Brooks' request to represent himself, but granted his request after he filed a waiver of right to attorney Wednesday morning. Brooks' trial scheduled to begin Monday. The Dane County Medical Examiner released more information today on the death of a man who was found in Lake Monona. 49-year-old Brian Knoll of Milwaukee was found near the intersection of John Nolan Drive and North Shore Drive on September 20th. The Dane County Medical Examiner's office identified Knoll on Monday and ruled the cause of death as drowning. Today, Dane County Sheriff's officials say Knoll is believed to have drowned after September 16th and the circumstances surrounding his death remain under investigation. Fundraising totals can tell you a good deal about a political race. And the latest numbers in Wisconsin show some close ones statewide. But just how close? Political reporter Will Keneally joins us with what he found. Will? That's right. So we're going to take a look first at the race for attorney general. And the numbers that we have in today are what is called the September report. It captures roughly the first month of the general election right after the August primary. And if we look at the top lines, the incumbent attorney general, Josh Call, raised more during that period, more than $481,000. It's also spent a good chunk of that money, more than $200,000 in that same period. Now that's more than Republican challenger Eric Tony. He raised more than $136,000 thousand dollars in the first month of the general election campaign. Now that's less than call, but still a big jump for Tony. He's essentially matched in that first month what he's raised already in the months long primary. But in the race for governor, the numbers are even closer. We'll have an analysis of that coming up tonight at five. We'll see you then. Well, Keneally, thank you. Teens thinking about a job in a home building career attended a career day put on by the Madison Area Builders Association. Over 200 students attended, attended had the opportunity to walk through the building process of a residential home. Builders talked through each stage of the home build and talked about opportunities in the building industry. There's 17 different trades within the unions, uh, and so we're going to show them about eight different areas, um, but there's many more even beyond that. This is the eighth time that they've held this event and their first time going house to house showing the process. The Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs marked a huge milestone today, the 100th birthday of a World War II veteran. Marjorie Marshman followed her five brothers into the military. She served in the U.S. Marine Corps Women's Reserve from 1943 to 46. Today, the Department of Veterans Affairs presented Marshman with a special proclamation. I was so so eternally grateful for my parents for what I was taught that it really was very simple for me to, you know, boot camp and all, it didn't, it didn't affect me at all. She ended her career as a Marine, having earned the rank of corporal. After her service, she moved to Madison and worked as a chaplain for the American Legion Post 501. She also worked at the VA hospital and was the first woman to join the Madison Veterans Firing Squad. Congra she is remarkable. Congratulations to her. It's hard to believe she's 100. It's so inspiring, it, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Boot camp. Happy <laughs> birthday. We should all go through boot camp, <laughs> yeah. apparently. Well, a cancer diagnosis can be devastating devastating, especially if our precious pets are the ones being diagnosed. But there is an organization in Madison that offers support and research. We'll find out more about Czar's Promise and how they can help you when Live at Four continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at Four. It's the four-day super sale 
at Denver Mattress. Right now, save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Or save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup. Plus, five years no interest with no down payment and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real... Uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. The radical left hate America and riot in our streets. They indoctrinate our children to hate America, stoking fear and envy with their lies and deceptions. Their radical woke agenda and divisive politics are tearing our country apart. Here's Mandela Barnes. Because the founding of this nation, awful. Mandela Barnes is a radical leftist. He supports their woke agenda that's causing you and your family so much pain. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. It's the four-day super sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Or save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup. Plus, five years no interest with no down payment and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. Welcome back. The International Dyslexia Association is working to raise awareness for the language-based learning disability. We know dyslexia results in people having difficulties with specific language skills, especially when it comes to reading. That is where Priscilla Griesens comes in. She is the president of IDA Wisconsin Branch, as well as an online tutor for kids with dyslexia. She also has a personal connection to the disability. Her 13-year-old brother Nathan has dyslexia and has been dealing with it for years. Priscilla's family has made it their mission to inspire change in the 608 and all it takes is giving kids with dyslexia the right resources. Nathan has thrived with this tutor. Um, Nathan went into third grade reading at a kindergarten level, went into fifth grade reading at a sixth grade level, and seventh grade at a high school level. Mm. And that was through, at the end of fifth grade is when he COVID hit. So mm -hmm. he thrived through COVID. That was a lot of parental and tutoring and involvement. IDA of Wisconsin is hosting a dyslexia awareness party this weekend. It's happening Saturday, October 1st from 1 to 4 in the afternoon at Oakstone in Cottage Grove. There is free admission, a silent auction, and music by Jackie Marie, along with kids' activities, appetizers, and desserts. If you'd like to help, go to this story on channel3000.com. Well, peanut butter and jelly, salt and pepper, some things just go better together, like aerobic activities and weight training. Okay, it's not food that we're doing here, but follow along. 
This too is really important because it could help you live longer. In a study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine, people who lifted weights once or twice a week and did some kind of aerobic activity had a 41% lower risk of dying early. To be clear, the study was done over the course of a decade via questionnaire, so we don't know about the kind of or intensity of weight training and aerobic exercise. But previous studies have shown they're both good for your heart. So researchers say having them work together to improve your health makes sense. Some Kia owners need to have adjustments made to their vehicles. The National Highway Traf uh, Transportation Safety Administration is recalling about 70,000 Sorento and Sportage SUVs from 2016 through 2023. A faulty tow hitch can pose a possible fire risk. Three fires have been reported, but none of them caused any crashes, injuries, or deaths. Fears of a possible recession have some retailers easing back on holiday hiring. Economists at Zip Recruiter say they aren't seeing the typical September increase in temporary employment. They say companies are taking a wait and see attitude on trends such as consumer spending and the overall economic outlook. Some experts say this lack of hiring could be another red flag about the country headed toward a financial slump. Not all retailers are following this trend though. UPS and Target are planning to add 100,000 workers each over the year end of the year holiday season. That's the same amount of positions that both companies posted in late 2021. The Bank of England took emergency action today to stabilize UK markets and head off a financial crisis. The government spooked investors by announcing a program of tax cuts without spending reductions, sending the value of the British pound tumbling. The pound plunged to a record low against the US dollar on Monday. The British public is demanding Parliament be recalled from a two-week break to confront the economic crisis, but there has been no comment from Prime Minister Liz Truss. Stocks surged on Wall Street as Treasury yields retreat. The Dow Industrials gained 548 points, ending the day at 29,683. The Nasdaq tacked on 222 points, or over 2%, and the S&P 500 was up 71 points, almost 2% as well. Well, they're called man's best friend for a very good reason. Dogs wrap their hearts around your own. Beth Viney found that out for herself in 2001 when she, or Vinny that is, I'm sorry, when she first met an eight-week-old Great Pyrenees puppy. It was love at first sight. By 2013, the pain from osteosarcoma that Czar suffered could no longer be controlled, unfortunately. Beth says Czar told her with his eyes don't make me cry, Beth, that it was time to start a new chapter. And it was a new chapter for Beth Vinnie as well. Zara's inspirational life led to the creation of a nonprofit, Zara's Promise. Beth joins us today to tell us more about the organization. Beth, welcome. Hi, Beth. Thank so you. good to see you. Thank so, you so much. So what's the promise? Well, the, the promise is, is really for families that have received a diagnosis of cancer in their dog or cat that we as ours promise are here to help them on their journey to be a resource to provide information on local resources every step of the way and that promise was made to say i will find a way somehow someday to make that happen and in 2018 Zars promise was born what kinds of things do you do for families that are going through this process well we're we're there at the very onset of conversation and just imagine sitting in a veterinarian's office with your dog or cat that is not feeling well and after an exam and maybe some diagnostic testing that veterinarian sits down in front of you and says your dog has cancer and that moment and that feeling is like the oxygen has been sucked out of the room and your heart falls to your stomach and then you stop hearing your veterinarian and it's only human nature for your mind to say when are they gonna die and how long do they have and it's so hard because they can't talk to you. They, you know, they, I loved what you said about Czar's eyes told yeah. you it was time. They, they, they tell yeah. you. They, they tell you, and they tell you in a big way. And once you get that news, you have to navigate the resources available to help you with that next step. Getting a consult with a board-certified veterinary oncologist, 
understanding and getting through that appointment about your prognosis for your pet and what options are available. The big thing, and with healthcare and human healthcare costs increasing, so are veterinary costs. And some families, when they have to look at the prognosis of their animal, and if it, it's treatable, one of their biggest fears is, how am I going to afford this? And some of them, unfortunately, have to say, do I help my companion or do I feed my family? Do I pay my mortgage? Do I pay my rent? And we, as ours promise, are, help, are here to help alleviate some of that financial stressor because that is a huge stress on families in trying to understand how to financially provide for the treatment option. And to that end, you have a big fundraiser coming up this weekend. We do. We are a 2022 Czar's Promise Inspiring Hope Wagon Walk, and it is this Sunday, October 2nd, at Winnequa Park in Monona from 10 until 2, and it is a day to celebrate the strength of the human canine bond, uh, really honor the families, and again, to really inspire hope. You are a life-saving organization, I can tell you. Tell you firsthand, because I've been there twice. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Beth, thanks for being with us today. Yes, Raise lots you. of money. Great to see you, Beth. Thank you. Well, here's something we don't need to tell you. The price of groceries is skyrocketing. But there are ways to save money at the supermarket. We go smart shopping with an expert. Coming up after Julian's firstborn forecast. with Madison Magazine. Scare up area ghosts and haunts. Visit the local suppliers of Hollywood's ghoulish props and learn the dark history of campus discrimination. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Want to know right now what the weather will be like tomorrow? Download the First Warn Weather app and you'll get my customized forecast for tonight and tomorrow. The First Warn Weather app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. With Choice Hotels, there's always a reason to book it. Whatever your reason, save 20% when you stay two or more nights at participating locations. Book direct at choicehotels.com. Terms and conditions apply. Champion summer savings are here. Don't miss our best window sale. Right now, buy two windows, get two free. At Champion, we make buying new windows easy. Unlike some other companies, at Champion, we control every aspect of the process. We design it, we build it, we install it, and we guarantee it for life. Keep the heat out this summer with new energy-efficient windows from Champion. Buy two windows, get two free. Call or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. Ron Johnson's at it again, lying about my taxes. Let's be clear, my taxes are paid in full. But there were times I was getting by on peanut butter sandwiches. And that's why I support a tax cut for the middle class. Put more money in your pockets. Because I know how hard you work. But Johnson used a Tennessee to write a loophole that gave huge tax cuts to himself and his biggest donors, leaving us with crumbs. And that's how we get left behind. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. That Chevy Blazer. That's our next SUV. Love that Equinox. That's our next SUV. Nice Trailblazer. It was love at first sight. What? The Chevy family of SUVs find new options, find new roads. Well qualified buyers can get 1.9% financing or get $1,200 cash allowance on all 2022 Equinox models. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. New Astapro Allergy, now available without a prescription. Astapro is the first and only 24-hour steroid-free spray. While other allergy sprays take hours, Astapro starts working in 30 minutes. So you can Astapro and go. Welcome to Dwellings. Shop our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. Well, take a look at this. It's a pair of mid-air daredevils playing sky-high billiards. 
A super cool game of pool was just one of the wacky flights of fancy on display at the annual Le Coupe Eye Care event in the French Alps, which features six days of elaborate and over-the-top hang gliders, paragliders, and wingsuits. The event, now in its 49th year, provides boundless entertainment, but more than that, organizers say it provides an invaluable boon to the local economy. Wow, oh, that's a... Uh... I don't, I'm not I'm sure. I might have lost the words, honestly. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. No. I guess it's kind of cool. How are they doing that? How is the ball <laughs> staying on the table? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, no, that's you have pretty to cool. worry about flying. That's no, very cool. Yeah. Right. Well, we're thinking about all of our friends and family in Florida today. What yeah. a bad, bad Absolutely. day. Absolutely. And it's going to be a long night as well. So we're going to be talking about Hurricane Ian and giving a look at our local weather. Coming up with the first one forecast in just a moment. No two accidents are the same, so don't let the insurance company treat you just like another number. Call Gruber Law Offices today. We'll give you the attention you need. We've helped tens of thousands of people get the money they deserve. One call, that's all. Victims of domestic abuse are walking all around us. Now, it's time to walk for them. Tomorrow, Josh Spriders in the 608 with a unique event where you can show your support. And when do these temperatures warm up and do we have a dry weekend in store? Tune in tomorrow from 4.30 to 7. It's our biggest sale of the year. Get back to your health and fitness goals by joining Anytime Fitness for just $1. Now through October 7th. Let us help you turn no I can't into yes I can. Now through October 7th, join Anytime Fitness for just $1. Hurry in today. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Looking for one of our most capable Ford SUVs? Okay, great. We've got you covered. Spacious interiors, innovative tech, good looks, and a legendary off-road experience. Check out our inventory today, or let us help you place a custom order. Getting into the perfect Ford SUV? Well, it's easier than ever. Yeah, we've got you covered. Now choose FlexBuy on a 2022 Ford Escape Edge or Explorer and get 0% financing for 66 months. Women are being watched, tracked through their cell phones. Tim Michaels Family's Foundation funds a radical anti-abortion group that tracks the cell phone data of women who visit Planned Parenthood clinics, then tries to stop them. Michaels wants to ban abortion even when a mother's health is at risk, and he's using his wealth to track and harass women. If he's doing this now, what do you think he'd do as governor? Maybelline New York's Instant Eraser, our do-it-all concealer. Conceal, contour, correct. Now with up to 12-hour moisturizing wear. Instant Eraser Concealer, Maybelline New York. You want to feel important, to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. We know. We felt that way, too. And that's why we joined the Army National Guard. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. I was hurt in an accident. My bills are piling up, and I could really use some money right now. I'm so glad I didn't let the insurance company pressure me into a settlement. Gruber Law Offices got my bills paid and made sure my future was protected. One call, that's all. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome back, everyone. And, well, Hurricane Ian is here into southern Florida as of right now. About two hours ago, roughly, it had made landfall for southwestern Florida. And we can see just where the track is as of right now. It's still south of Tampa. But, really, we're looking at areas like Englewood, which is going to be one of the more concerning areas as of right now. It's the heaviest band of rain is going to be hitting the coast of the southwestern parts of Florida as of right now. The eye in itself is just a bit north of Fort Myers, but you can see as we're continuing throughout its move, it's a slow moving storm. And I know this has been coverage throughout many areas as we've been continuing to track this storm, but in itself, it's still moving very, very slow, which is one of the biggest concerns of it because torrential and devastating rainfall is what is really going to be expected for Southern Florida as it continues to try to move at a north northeasterly track. And it's even slowed down from about 30 minutes ago where it was about 10 miles per hour. Now it's at eight miles per hour. The good news is that the wind intensity has started to knock down 
just a bit, but it's still sustaining at about 140 miles per hour and gusts around 180 miles per hour. Now, as we continue to track this storm, by the time we get into the overnight hours, so it's going to be a long night. We're looking for the sustain into a category four within the next rest of this evening and even to the early part of tonight and potentially going into a category one by the time we get into our early Thursday morning as it continues to push into a north northeast easterly, easterly track. This will push its way into Daytona Beach and then back out into the Atlantic and start to move itself back into the coast, but that will be really impacting southern Georgia and just into southern uh, southern Carol Carolina, excuse me, South Carolina. But outside of that, we'll look into it really moving in by the time we get into our Friday afternoon. Outside of that, let's talk about our local news for us. For our weather here, we are looking at tonight and Thursday to be prompting us another alert day. Why? Well, folks, we're looking at some more frost advisories and even some freeze warnings for our friends to the north. But the frost is one of our biggest concerns as temperatures are going to drop into the mid 30s overnight and really be like that as we head out the door. So make sure that you and your kids are prepared to dress properly because it's going to feel a bit like winter as you're heading out the door. It's taking a look at our frost advisory. It's encompassing all of southern Wisconsin, and even northern Illinois and parts of Iowa, Iowa as well planning out tonight. Our temperatures are going to be in the mid 30s once again. We're looking around 35 degrees at Madison and for Janesville and even for 36 degrees over towards Platteville. Areas just far to the northwest are looking to hit the freezing point or could even see just below it once again. Now let's walk through the rest of our evening. Temperatures are going to be within the 40s by the time we get into our early nighttime hour. With all the clearing that we have in our skies, we're going to drop in temperatures rather quickly. Once we get into the overnight, temperatures will already be into the 30s. And once we hit the 37 degree mark. That's when we're going to be looking at frost to really be able to take form and lead its way into our Thursday morning. By the time we get into our Thursday afternoon, the good news is we are looking for more uh, pleasant temperatures as they ride into the 60s with that southerly flow and plenty of sunshine, but a couple of clouds could start to roll their way in as well. This is one thing to watch for. But outside of that, here's a look at our seven day forecast. The good news is is that we are looking for a steady increase in temperatures back into the 60s by the time we get into this weekend and also just so you guys know a little backstory of the last eight weekends we've had rain and cloudy conditions this weekend well we are looking at sunshine to be in our forecast and the upper 60s so a change in tune which is great because i am tired of our saturdays and sundays being <laughs> yes. rainy <laughs> good weather for the badger game on saturday morning going to be great it might be a little on the cooler side but we can take that for fall yeah, sweater good time stuff. exactly well, julie thank you <laughs> well the skies are anything but friendly these days delays, cancellations, rising prices. Add to all of that more and more unruly passengers. Earlier we talked with CBS senior travel advisor Peter Greenberg about all of this. Peter, lots of cases of unfriendly skies recently. The number of unruly passenger incidents alarming. You took a look into the numbers. What'd you find? It is alarming. In the, in the recent reports of last year, 6,000 cases of unruly, disruptive, or downright violent passengers. And while the numbers are down for 2022, there's still more than 2,000 cases reported. The real question is, what happens to these people? You see them being pulled off planes. You see them being arrested. You see, you see fines being proposed, them being banned from airlines. But is that really happening? And what we found out is not really. Less than 10% are ever actually arrested. Less than 10% of those are ever really uh, fined. And the ones that were banned more likely are coming back. The airlines are quietly inviting them back. So the deterrent nature of violating a federal law of interfering with a flight crew is not really having much effect because of the enforcement. Wow. What about with the holidays coming up? It's going to be a busy time. Airfares are, are going to be high for the holidays, right? Well, for Thanksgiving, indeed, 21% over 2019 and 43% over last year for the Thanksgiving period. If you can go not then, the rest of the fourth quarter is a bargain. Airfares are coming down across the board. What's not coming down are hotel rates. And the reason for that is business travels coming back. For the month of August, 73% increase of corporate bookings over July. And between now and November 19th, it's up six times of what it was last year. So the law supply and demand is kicking in. And with the possible exception, here's some irony of Thanksgiving itself, you're going to be paying a lot of money for those hotel rooms. And services limited as well. It's hard to get enough people to work. 
That's right. You know, when the hotel tells you they're full, and many times they're not full. They're running at 60% capacity, and they're full at 60% because they literally do not have the staff to service the other 40% of the rooms that are essentially empty. I was in Vegas recently, and we were trying to get into a restaurant, and it was empty virtually. And they said, no, I'm sorry, we're full. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a 20 to 30 minute wait for empty restaurants because they don't have enough servers. I, listen, I was on a flight the other day from New York to Zurich in Switzerland. The plane was on the ground three hours early. Guess what? We didn't leave the gate for another hour and a half until after it was scheduled to take off. Why? They couldn't find anybody to tow the plate to play into the gate. So it's not just a pilot shortage, it's a shortage across the, across the board. How disruptive do you think Hurricane Ian's going to be? It will be disruptive because remember, anytime you shut down an airport or shut down an airline, for every 12 hours that you do it, it takes another 72 hours to get back on track. So effectively between now and let's say October 6th, it's going to be tough to get back on schedule. Pack your patience. <laughs> I don't want to say this to a travel guy, but there's no place like home. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Peter, good to see you again. Great to see you, Peter. Bye, guys. Thank you. Peter, coming oh, up next year on Live. What's that? It's always good to see him. And he's coming yeah. to Madison soon. Yeah, next month. Yeah. So maybe we'll talk him into coming out here. That'd be great. Coming up next year on Live at 4, grocery prices have been going up. So we try to help you find some spots where you can save some money. And then coming up next hour at 5, we go deeper with Sun Prairie Utilities about how to stay prepared when natural disasters like Hurricane Ian strike. Save Fresh Perks, it's easy to get lower than low prices for the win. You also earn fuel points on every purchase to save big at the pump. Pick and save Fresh Perks. All you do is win big, big savings. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. I worked in law enforcement for more than 30 years. I know what it takes to keep our community safe. Mandela Barnes stands with Defund the Police and supports no cash bail that releases dangerous criminals back into our communities. Barnes supports sanctuary cities and spending millions of taxpayer dollars on illegal immigrants. Take it from me, the bad guys belong in jail, and Mandela Barnes belongs nowhere near the Senate. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Nothing beats a great night's sleep on a new Beauty Rest mattress from Steinhoffels. Right now, you can get a Beauty Rest Queen mattress for only $449 or get $200 in Steinhoffels cash when you upgrade to the redesigned Beauty Rest Black. More luxurious and comfortable than ever. And with Steinhoffels special financing, your mattress just got more affordable. Isn't it time you got a great night's sleep? Relax, it's Steinhoffels. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing. In as little as two weeks, Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your asthma specialist about Dupixent. With the Pick and Save app, no matter where you order free pickup, you get the same great deals as you get in our stores. So start your cart today. Whenever, wherever. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. New at 5, it's the first major hurricane to hit the Tampa Bay area in 100 years. News 3 now looks into Wisconsin's efforts to help Florida prepare for the Category 4 storm. We're tracking all things Hurricane Ian, and we have an alert date in the forecast for areas of frost. We'll be talking more about this coming up at 5. You might have seen these ads on your TV, criticizing Tim Michaels over allegations based on the business that he owns. On the next Reality Check, we'll explore how true those claims might be. Our weather satellite ends up in Hillsboro, Florida. There's a lighthouse there. And 
I guess it's raining. Raining and windy, although that boat looks like it's staying put. Yeah. Hopefully it's where it's supposed to be. Well, a recent government report says prices for groceries jumped more than 13% in the past year. Meg Oliver went to the grocery store with Brian Vines from Consumer Reports to find some small ways that you can save big. So what can we do to save money? Wednesdays are the universal best time for grocery shopping. Between 8 and 10 a.m., stores are stocked for that Thursday to Sunday rush where supermarkets do 80% of their business. So you need to plan a schedule. Absolutely. And if you can, shop on the last four days of the month where you get the deepest discounts because stores are ready to turn over for the next month. Fruits and vegetables are essential. How can we shop smarter for them? Fruits and veg are at the peak of perfection right now, but frozen is always ready and they're just as nutritious and you can stock up and save them. It beats the season and uh, gives you savings all year long. Unit pricing can be your friend, especially for non-perishables like this water that you could buy a bottle for about $1.33 a quart, but these in bulk 33 cents a quart. And how do you cash in on special member deals? Oh, this is where you're gonna need your phone. <laughs> There's so many stores that offer special member pricing mm -hmm. if you join their savings club, and it translates into real value in the store, and sometimes even at the pump. And how about when it comes to protein? Protein prices are skyrocketing, so fight the urge to run right to the meat aisle. Beans are a terrific high-protein option. Taco Tuesday doesn't always have to be ground beef. Get some quinoa, some beans, corn, mix it up. Mix it up, and mix I'm assuming up. eggs would be a really good option. Eggs are a perennial favorite. They're high in protein. All right, let's not forget dessert. dessert. Come on, Brian. Here it is. We have found my happy place. <laughs> Mine too. Listen, reduce for quick sale if your grocery store does not have one of these, find a different store. How much can you save? 50% off 50%. easily. Everything here is half off. I have a family of five. How much could I save with these tips? My family of two has saved $340 so far this year just using the in-store savings app. Wow. Just from the tips today, yeah. we saved more than 20 bucks. Okay. Not bad. I'm Meg Oliver with Brian Vines in the Bronx, New York. Those are some great suggestions. It really is. If you ever, you can, sometimes you can take beans or lentils and just put taco seasoning on them. You can't even tell that it's not ground beef. If you say so. <laughs> you might, you might. But <laughs> I actually use ground turkey instead of ground beef. Yeah. It's a little more economical. Well, it's time to get your plant and garden questions answered. Yeah, we forgot to mention this at the top of the show, Lisa Briggs. Oh, wow. Balancing a gourd. I'm impressed. She's standing by live at the Bruce Company. Call now, 608-270-9933. Add another one on there, Lisa, in the break. We'll take your calls right after this. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Hypnotize your way to savings. Breathing techniques to help you save. Looking to make saving a habit? Yeah, what's the secret? No secret. Just open a savings account at BMO and we'll give you a cash reward for every month you save. A cash reward? Just for saving. Mm hmm And when you open a checking account, we'll give you a $300 bonus to get your new savings habit started. Love that. What's your book? How to get a $300 bonus and a monthly cash reward for saving with BMO. He literally wrote the book on saving. Has me on the cover. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. New Astapro Allergy, now available without a prescription. Astapro is the first and only 24-hour steroid-free spray. While other allergy sprays take hours, Astapro starts working in 30 minutes. So you can Astapro and go. Patio doors, patio doors. Scott the window guy can do patio doors. Scott the window guy can do patio doors. We do patio doors. That's scottthewindowguy.com. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. 
because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. The radical left hate America and riot in our streets. They indoctrinate our children to hate America, stoking fear and envy with their lies and deceptions. Their radical woke agenda and divisive politics are tearing our country apart. Here's Mandela Barnes. The, the founding of this nation? Awful. Mandela Barnes is a radical leftist. He supports their woke agenda that's causing you and your family so much pain. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. And welcome back for a quick update on our traffic. Starting off with the Beltline, how are our conditions? Well, we are east and westbound all green. It's a nice start for our 4 p.m. commutes as we're getting ready for the 5 p.m. commutes along the Beltline, but we are still looking at some residential areas to be on the slower side, especially off of John Nolan Drive and for Fish Hatchery, where we are looking for those ramps to be on the slow side as we're getting into the rest of our commutes. Outside of it, though, we are looking at our interstate to be all green north and south on I-39. Now, taking a look at how long it would take for our normal areas as of right now, well, everything is rather normal and even the speeds are flowing rather smoothly as well. So not too bad as we're getting the rest of our traffic going for us. It's going to do it for our update. Let's go ahead and toss it back to you guys. All right, Julian, thank you. You're looking at history in the making. The world's first all-electric commuter aircraft took to the skies over Washington State today. The electric aircraft has technology similar to an electric car. The plane known as Alice is built to carry nine passengers and one or two pilots, but it's going to be some time before commercial flights take off, off to the skies. It takes years to get FAA certification. Alice has a range of 440 nautical miles. We're taking your plant and garden questions today. The number to call, 608-270-9933. We've got a couple lines open if you have a question for Lisa Briggs, live at the Bruce Company. Yeah, on the pumpkin patch. That is such a great shot. Very autumnal, Lisa. Is it a sincere pumpkin patch? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. It's good enough. It's in a you parking lot, though, right? Okay, excellent. All right. <laughs> good for a parking lot. There you go. <laughs> Let's go to the phones. We'll start with Diane in Mount Horb. Hi, Diane. What's your question? Hi. I've been growing my amaryllis bulbs in pots, and they're still growing, so I don't know what to do with them to get them down and rested so they bloom. Okay. Yep. So what you're going to want to do, Diane, is first you're going to want to cut off all that lovely foliage. And you, some people dry them in the pots, some people take them out of the pots. But what you want to do is set it in a place where it is kind of cool, airy, and dark, and let them sit in those pots for about 12 weeks. And then you're going to bring them out and then start watering again. And then the new growth will come up and they just need a rest. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's go yeah. to Kathy in Verona. Hi, Kathy. What's your question? Lisa, I have planted a hundred daffodils and tulip bulbs on a new property okay. that we just moved into. What can I do to prevent squirrels and chipmunks from digging them up? Well, squirrels and chipmunks will not bother your daffodils. They're a little bit toxic, so they'll leave those alone. For tulips, what you could do is just get like some bird netting or and just cut some pieces and lay that over where you planted them. You could also use chicken wire if your squirrels are especially aggressive. And if you just lay the, that over the top and then mulch over it, the bulbs will come up through the chicken wire, but the squirrels won't be able to get them. Okay. Oh, that's, that's going to be beautiful. Yeah, good, good idea. All right, let's go to Greg in Cambridge. Hi, Greg. What's your question? Uh, yes, I've got uh, a lupin's cherry tree and a couple of uh, apple trees, and they have not flowered. The apple trees are probably five years old. The cherry tree is probably a year old. Uh, none of them have flowered, 
and I'm not sure if they're getting enough sunlight. And if they're not, would this be the time of the year or in the springtime to transfer them into an area uh, where they would get more sunlight? Okay, so they're going to need six to eight hours of sunlight a day, and that's during the growing season. So if they're not getting that, you will want to move them, but you're going to want to wait until spring and do it in the spring. Now is not a good time to be transplanting. If they're getting that much sunlight, the other thing that we look at for flowering is if you're pruning them at the wrong time. So the best time to prune uh, fruit trees so that you get fruit production, it, it, it's kind of tricky because what you want to do is prune them for shape right after they're done flowering. That will not get you fruit for that one year, but you'll get fruit the following year. So just watch the pruning and make sure they're getting enough sunlight. That'll be the best thing to do. All right, hold off on the transplanting. All right, let's go to Heidi yeah. in Madison. Hi, Heidi, what's your question? Hi, hello, thank you. I just want to know when a good time for me to plant my garlic bulb will be. You want to wait, Heidi, until after we get some frost and the ground has started to cool. And then once you plant it, you plant those cloves about, oh, six inches deep. Make sure you put in some um, bulb booster or some slow-release fertilizer. And then what I like to do is put a nice thick layer of, like, marsh hay or straw over the top. If we get some warm weather and they start to come up, it'll insulate those young plants. Okay. Can you plant the garlic you buy in a store or do you have to have special garlic? You can plant the garlic you get in the store, but if you're going to plant it, you might as well get the really cool flavored ones because <laughs> you can always get the stuff at the store. All right, let's, go to, let's go to Steve in Prairie du Sac. Hi, Steve. Hi there. Um, I'm transplanting um, peony plants right now. Um, everything mm -hmm. I've read is you transplant them in the fall. Um, I yes, was wondering you do. if you have any recommendations. Okay, these are from my mother-in-law um i'm transplanting them from illinois up to lovely up here from her house so um there were her favorite okay. flowers she passed Aww. away in january oh, so that's very sweet use some bone meal or some uh ball booster or something like that to get them to uh establish quickly the thing with peonies is on the tops of each of those tubers you'll see little eyes or little bumps we call them eyes those are next year's buds you want to make sure that those eyes aren't any deeper than two inches below the level of the soil because if those eyes are deeper than that then they'll produce green growth but they will not produce flower buds so make sure that those eyes are between one and two inches deep and then you're good to go all right. Lots of good questions as always. Lisa, thank you. Lots of good pumpkins available at the Bruce Company. <laughs> yes, plenty, plenty Come on down. We've got pumpkins. you got pumpkins. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Thank you all for calling in. And we'll have a final check of your forecast coming up. Fall in love with a stylish and quality dining room set this fall, like my Montana Dining Collection. Get the table with six chairs, only $9.99, or table, four chairs, and storage bench, still only $9.99, with financing options to fit your budget. Get discount! The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original windows. It's bone. There's no need to be afraid of old windows. Just call Feldco for 50% off. It's the biggest sale of the season. 50% off Feldco windows. Plus, no interest until 2024. 50% off windows end soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. I worked on the force for 30 years. I've seen plenty of politicians, but Mandela, he's the real deal. Mandela doesn't want to defund the police. He's very supportive of law enforcement, and I know his objective is to make every community in the state of Wisconsin better. I trust him to get the resources that we need to keep people safe and to reduce crime in the first place. As a retired cop, I want someone like Mandela. Mandela is the right guy for the job. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present their 2022-23 Community Concert Series opening the season on October 8th with the Doo-Wop Project, performing oldies and recent hits with a Doo-Wop twist. Tickets available now. Don't miss it. Mirror, mirror on my five-piece Tremont bedroom set. Only $9.99. Dresser and mirror, chest, queen bed, even a nightstand. At Bob's Discount Furniture, you get the quality and value you deserve. Even if you like talking to yourself in the mirror. Get Bob's Discount! Coming up at 5, we speak with Sun Prairie Utilities, who are part of 41 Wisconsinites heading down to help out in Florida. 
And we take a look at who was ahead in campaign funds. How can this impact the tight race for governor? The answer at five. News 3 Now Sports brings you the Badger Blueprint. Join us every week for an exclusive look at Wisconsin football. From the practice field to the locker room, the game day previews and highlights. Badger Blueprint, Wednesdays only on News 3 Now at 10. And to wrap things up, three things we'll need to know. We're expecting frost to develop again tonight into our Thursday morning, so make sure you are dressing properly as you head out the door. But then milder temperatures are on the way with a dry weekend on tab. We'll talk more about the forecast and Hurricane Ian coming up at 5. Until then, back to you guys. All right, Julian, tomorrow here on Live Before, we have another episode of our Traveler Throwback Thursday. And meet Mark Schilling, News 3 photojournalist and school bus driver. <laughs> he saw a need, there's a great need right now, and filled it. We'll We'll talk about it tomorrow on Live at 4. It's A1 Furniture's anniversary sale with up to 43% off store-wide and 43 months free financing. Plus, get tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something on the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real... Uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette. I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Don't miss A1 Furniture's anniversary sale. Save up to 43% off name brand mattresses and get 43 months free financing. Plus, get tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. In today's final touch, an A-list performer gets her spotlight stolen. By a centuries-old music maker, no less, Lizzo just made history with an unlikely creative collaboration, the U.S. Library of Congress. The National Archive Institute lent the sassy singer a crystal flute first owned by President James Madison in the early 1800s. Lizzo tweeted that she became the first person ever to play the crystal relic, and after 200 years, we say it's about dang time. <laughs> Library of Congress later tweeted confirming the flute was legit and made back unharmed after stealing the show from Lizzo. She is talented. All right, that's our time for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here again tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.